Hey guys, uh, this is a quick and short video of my Kenwood uh, TR9130. Uh, a few people had some questions with regards to the tone board connection as well as the memory backup. Uh, so I was actually selling away this rig and before that I thought let me make this uh, quick video so that uh, it's probably of help to a few. So here's uh, the memory backup. Hope you can see that. This is the memory backup. And uh, I actually forgot now which one is uh, positive and negative. I had actually, no, I think I can make that out, yeah. So I believe the right side is positive and the left side uh, is uh, negative. And you can actually ignore the top pin. Uh, so that is it. And this is what I did. So this is just, uh, <clears throat> I had this lying around. 12 volt uh, regulated output. So you can in fact use the same uh, power supply which you normally use to power this one, but then there's no point in keeping the big uh, high current power supply on always. So I was using this uh, adapter. Uh, this is just, uh, I just had it. It's a 1.5 ampere, but you don't really need that much. I forgot how, how many amps you need. Very little, actually. But this is just what I had. And I keep it plugged in always. I used to keep, just keep it plugged in always and uh, made a quick, uh, a small PC board just to for rigidity. Plus, it has a switch. I actually forgot what that switch is for. It presses it down inside here. So, and besides these connectors, these are... Can you see it? Yeah. These are the connectors I use, but then I use the shrink sleeve around it. And uh, once we insert it, of course, when inserting, you need to hold the PCB. And uh, it used to just uh, go that way. Let me... So it is fixed. So this is how it is. And this gives memory backup. Okay. And the same uh, kind of uh, pins I use, these are female. And uh, for the uh, tone board, and uh, here is my tone board. Instead of installing, uh, this is a slightly larger tone board, uh, which I had. And uh, this is a tone board I have. So the dip switches are set for a certain tone. And this is actually a heat shrink, but then I didn't. I just put it in, in the sleeve. And then there's a hole at the bottom here. There's a hole. This is the hole. So what I did is the uh, connections are somewhere here. Three connections come. So three plug in. And then I had routed this wire. You can see I have put it in a sleeve. I have put it in a sleeve and this was routed. That means the connections go red. I, I, while removing from the hole, I had to chop off the pins. Otherwise, these had the pins which were soldered after inserting the wire. So this was routed very carefully from the front and then it came out from here. It came out from here and this just used to sit next to the rig. Instead of installing something inside and then if you uh, want to change the tone, you'll have to again uh, open the cover. So instead of that, I just did it this way. Three wires, that's all. And uh, I did not solder directly. That way, if you want to give away, give away the rig, uh, there's no damage done to the pins. And I just had this with me. So I just used a connector in case you want to remove the this one and then put something else. Yes, you can. You, or as long as you have some the other uh, side, the female connector, or is it the male? Yeah, this is the male. You can use uh, any other uh, tone board. And this is polarized. So there's only one way it can go. And uh, there you have it. So this is my tone board, which is to just sit there. If by chance I need to change the tone, it's very easy to, you know, just remove this and then change the tone. And uh, these are the three wires. Then you have the memory backup. So that is how I used uh, my... Uh, uh, yeah, the, the leg is missing for this. 
And that is how I use this rig for the tone as well as for the memory backup because that is really a help. Otherwise, every time you switch it on, power on the, uh, you'll have to set the frequency again. That's it. Thank you for watching.